Hello, everyone. Happy Sunday night. We just had the moon. Whew. Love you guys. How is everyone tonight? How's everyone feeling? I'm going to do an 11-11 challenge. So at 11-11, I have a super big challenge for the world. I want to challenge the world to a better you. Hello, Scotty. Hi, Jackie. I'm going to see you this week. Hello, Maria. I miss you too, boo. I miss you too. So guys, if you're on here now, you definitely want to stay around for the challenge because this challenge will change your life. It's life changing. Got my mala beads. Oh, I've been going in. Oh, you've been feeling it? Hey, gorgeous. Just got home. It's snowing like crazy here. You look so pretty tonight, baby doll. Oh, I love you and I love that snow energy. And thank you so much. And I love you so much. I have my... BU shirt on. I love to support creators, right? So this is a young boy creator in my area. I love him. BU. Check them out. They're dope. <laughs> I love you. I love you, Jackie. Hello, beautiful. Hello. Hello, everyone. Guys, if you know me, you know I'm Sarah Richardson. I'm a cheerleader for the divine, right? So... It's like I speak a different language. I love you, Jackie. Yeah, I was just supporting a local creator, a little young girl. She does eyelashes. Uh, you know, I wanted to pump her up to have her business and do her thing. And so she did her thing on me. So Tyra, I love you, girl. She's amazing at what she does. She's a young entrepreneur. I'm out here trying to show people that they got that gold inside of them, man. Like you got that gold inside of you, no matter what you practice or what you study or what you been through or whatever, like you are gold out here. We need you to be your best you. And so that's what I do. I come on here. I pump you up to be your best you. And I love to see you be your best you. <laughs> it's hot as hell in here. I love you. It probably is hot there. We speak the same language. Yeah, that's why I love you, girl, because we speak the same language. Have people been feeling it today? Have you been feeling it, like, you know, in your mind's eye? Have you been thinking um, bliss? Or have you been thinking chaos? What have you been thinking? You know, what's, what's, what's moving on with you? What's going on with you? What's going on in your mind, in your body, in your life? I want you to take a reflection right now. Take a deep breath in. What is going on with you right now? Block out the world. Go into you. What is going on inside of you today, guys? That's what's been blissed out. I love it. I love it. Blissed out. You know, guys, um... I do a lot of fun stuff. Hello, JC. Um, you know, I'm the creator of Always Think Up. So if you guys know me, I just rebranded Always Think Up. I just came back out with Always Think Up. I'm going to do some whole new stuff. If you know me, you know my Facebook page, my community got hacked like a year ago, right? And I fell off in the doo-doo about a Facebook community. So I'm telling you, no matter how far you expand there's always going to be something that comes in that tests you that gets to your fears that makes you feel i'm fearful of a facebook community and thank you anna may because anna may was right there for me like a like a precious gem when my facebook got hacked she jumped right on it and helped me i'm blessed as fuck what's good with me i love you Living in the moment, chilling. Yes, 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 yes. I love my friends. I love you, Anna, for coming in whenever my Facebook got hacked. So yeah, Rohit stole my shit, right? And so I was kind of like down in the doo-doo about that. I was like, oh my gosh, like someone can just come in and just like take your whole creation. And there's no, Facebook doesn't care that you created that. Like I have messaged Facebook so many times, even still now. And I'm like, Facebook, do you care? that my 
community got hacked like it's a good community we spread good in the world like so, someone just hijacked my good in the world i love you like what is happening right so my faith was like low low on that right and you guys know me um laws of attraction um you know you create what you think like all these things and i was rolling myself in the doo-doo hi mamta i'm gonna need a lot from you in the month to come because it will be the exact date 16 years ago i'm here for you man you know i'm here for you i love you got my tribes back though you sure do got your tribes back and you know that's the one thing that i have to say that i'm so thankful for and all these years of expanding is this tribe that i have of these amazing people that all do really different amazing things and thank you to my tribe thank you to my soul family thank you to the people that message me thank you to the people that open their hearts up to me thank you to the people that tell me the realest realest stuff because they just want to get it out i love you that's where I work I work in release so if you need to release I can normally help you get that out of you and I can show you that it's not really as bad as it looks right so today I've been heavy in this third eye you know the third eye the observer I put the vibes on I write things down I go into my mind. You know, meditation is so big and you can do meditation anywhere. Today, this weekend, I had an action packed weekend. I just want to sit down and meditate all weekend. And I didn't even get to sit down for like a minute, right? But each minute that the universe did give me that I didn't have to drive and, and, and do these things, I would go into my mind and I, and you know, you can do this everywhere. You don't need an office. You don't need a space. Like you can go into you anywhere. You just have to make the time to go into you. Thank you tribe. Yes. Yes. Me too, girl. Share now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We're doing a big fun sacred sex challenge at 11, 11. I'm super excited guys. I love your freaking guts and I want to challenge all of you. So like I have eight people on here right now. That's super dope. I love that number. I got my mala beads. I prayed over this. I've been going in about it. I've been feeling in about it. Right. And so guys, your sex is directly linked up with your money. Your sex is directly linked up with your self-worth. You know, guys, I'm a chakra girl. I talk about chakras all the time. And it's all about little energy movements in your body, right? And so if you make little adjustments like how people will fast for three days or five days or, you know, to quit watching TV for three days or five days or whatever... A sacred set, my sacred sex challenge is going to blow your fucking mind. Okay? It is going to knock your socks off. So in this sacred sex challenge, you're going to work with me. The work I do is I clear out your energy, your nervous system, right? So I go through, I clear out your nervous, your nervous system, and it's just like a restart, right? So everything just peels off and you just get to restart and your body knows what to do. That's why I love my work because I know that your body knows what to do. And so I'm just like, word up, you're good. Sacred sex, just kidding though. Sacred sex, sacred sex is so much. Sacred sex has been my journey, you know, just on Thursday, I got to meet up uh, with my great friend who ended up, you know, he was the one that introduced me to sacred sex. And I used to run from him because of his sexual energy, because I was scared of my own sexual energy. You know, this sexual energy shit runs deep, deep. But this sexual energy space, this is your space of creation. This is your space of your power. This is your space. This is what attracts your life to you. And in my date and time and age and my age group and all of you, guys, we're jacked up in our sex spaces. And I only know because I knew that I was jacked up in my sex space and I worked on it and I worked on it and I worked in and I worked in and I worked in and I kept on working in and I keep on working in and I vow to the spirit to keep going in on this sex space because I know there's still so much more for me to learn on what I've already learned so far, right? But I know that in clearing out your sex space and getting in touch with you, 
and yourself, you, if you work with me for 30 days, I swear to God, your whole entire life will change and that will be the proof. And so I'm only going to take a certain amount of people, but I want you guys to, you have to be brave, you know, to do this challenge, you have to be brave. So whether you're single or you're married, in my sacred sex challenge, I'm going to ask you to not have sex for 30 days. Sustain and create, sustain and create, sustain and create. This is what my friend told me, you know, and I love him because our conversation on Thursday was like, you know, he's been my friend since 2006. And, and we were both very opened up to universal law and principle and the universe and, you know, sinks from the universe and things like that. He's amazing, right? He's, he's older than me. He's about 11 years older than me. Um, and he knows more than me. And so I was just like absorbing information. So whenever I got pregnant with my baby and I went through all that stuff, you know, he was basically there like, are you ready to talk about what this is? And we did an interview about sexual energy and sustaining and creating and how when you sustain that sexual energy, which is not a very common thing amongst my age group, amongst, you know, my, my group of people. And so by sustaining and creating you build that sexual energy inside of you. And that sexual energy doesn't just make babies, y'all. It doesn't just make babies. It makes more than babies. It produces your creation that is inside of you. So many people have so many things inside of them that are bursting to get out, right? Yanni eggs for any sex challenge, though. Yeah, you know, um, I, I love my egg. Cheers to my egg. I, you know, I can't believe it's so funny to even be on here talking about this because sex was one of the last things that I would ever be talking about in my life. But yes, I have worked with um, the Yoni egg and it's amazing. And I've done steams and I've done um, the right of the womb. And, you know, I've done a lot of things. And guys, I want to tell you that for the man and the woman, this works, right? He's a man. He taught me this. I'm a woman. I've done this. I do this in my life. I clear out. I, I really work a lot on my sex space because your sex space has a lot to do with what you manifest out here. Your sex space is tied into your third eye and tied into your throat chakra. You know, everything is everything in the in the energy right and so i was just talking to a great friend tonight and i said you know where most humans get off track is because they want to know how how does the energy work how do i get there hello lovely i do but not lately yes <laughs> um so you know guys you know when it comes to energy work just just you know, let it work, let it flow, let it, you know, we're always trying to figure out how's that going to work? How am I going to get from here to there? How am I going to be able to bring this up with this person or that person, right? Let the energy work. Just let the energy work. Let the divine energy work in your life. Yes, girl, I ordered 20 pounds of love. I love you. Who do you order through? I love your guts. I love your guts. You know, and guys, if you want to know, you know, for the stone, it's more about getting to know yourself. You know, sexual energy and intimacy is getting to know yourself, getting intimate with yourself. I promote that. I promote sacred sex. I promote getting intimate with yourself. This challenge, I'm so fucking excited for, right? So I, I sat down with Spirit and I'm like, Spirit. We got to make a move. We got to make an impact. We got to get this love going. We got to get this moving out here. How can I give this out? You know, it, it, how can I give this out? How can I teach people what I've been doing? How can I emphasize this enough, right? And the challenge came up, I, you know, and, and through my busy ass weekend, I all of a sudden came up and here's today I didn't even plan for this and it came out easier than expected at 11 11 because we're all reflections of one another I fucking love you guys 
I order them from India. I get mine from Lovestone. I, I don't know. I love you. No sex for 30 days because it builds up energy. Yes. What kind of things have you created from being abstinent? Chess? Oh, chess. I've created everything. I've created everything. I've created work. I've created friendships. I've created um, income from unknown resources. I've created peace. I've created bliss. I've created business. I've created experiences. I've created vacations. I've created help right on time. I've created a community for my baby. I created boundaries. I created every fucking thing in my life from doing this and I promote it. And whether you're married or whether you're single, clearing out your energy and working on your sex space is fucking vital. Vital. This is for everyone. No matter what you believe in, no matter how you believe your sexual energy is the energy of creation it creates in your life. The traumas that we're carrying down, they're in that space. I make it super fucking simple, and I'm going to show you guys. I love you. Taking a shower. I'm going to hurry up and watch the next video. Jack, you got to watch this one. It's coming in two minutes. My sacred sex challenge is coming up. I want you guys to message me. If you guys think that you can not have sex for 30 days, get some of my energy work and see how I'm getting it, I want you to message me. I want you to sign up. I'm only going to take 11 people for this first one and see how everybody likes it, right? So we're going to do no sex for 30 days, single or married. I'm going to work with you. You're going to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to do a distance session with you on my energy work, how I do energy work. We're going to do a, a video call. I want to see your face. I want to connect with you. I don't need to do that. I don't need to connect with you in a video call, but that's what I want because what I'm craving in my life right now and in my creation and what I'm creating is human connection, real human connection, real sit down and talk to you, real let's work on this for you, real let's dig to this. You know, I think so many people in this Facebook world have gotten so far away from human connection and that's what I'm creating in my life because that's what I really, really like. The times where I've had the most impact are the times where I actually get that connection with you, right? And so we're going to listen to the 528, the 528 hertz. You can go and you can get it. I'll set you up with it on YouTube. You can listen to it whenever you want, but you're going to listen to that. And then I want you to let me know the kind of results that you get. And guys, I'm going to warn you, this sex space is a tricky space. So when you first start not having sex first, that's tricky in your life, right? And then you're going to see all kinds of things. And as you listen to this 528, at first you might not like it at all. It might really like irritate you and disrupt your system. I'm going to disrupt your system is what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to get you right in the gut. That's what I'm here for. I love your fucking guts. So this is what I'm doing. Because I love your fucking guts, I am going to give my love out. That's what, that you know, that's my gift. That's what I know how to do. I had to figure out a creative way to come out and give it out. To speak to you guys, uh, guys, all at your what you can understand you when you keep your sex sacred when you keep yourself sacred amazing things happen in your life and keeping yourself sacred can mean you're single keeping yourself sacred can mean you are a wife keeping yourself sacred can mean that you are uh, whatever whatever it's just that you know that you're sacred. When you decide to have sex, it's a sacred type sex because you worked inside of yourself deep, right? Yes, queen. I'll catch up later if I can. I love you. I love you too. Hey, Crystal. Yay, Bonnie. So glad to hear you're doing this as needed. You know what, Crystal? I love you. And it, it's been coming up. I mean, it's been coming up. I, I thought I was going to roll it out into something else, but this is what it is. You know, Spirit created this for me, girl. Accountability is real stuff. Can we start today so I can get it on Valentine's Day? Um, 
Yeah, yeah, we can start today so you can get it on Valentine's Day. For sure, girl, that would be perfect. <laughs> Usually I don't care either way. It's my hubby that will have the issues. No, you know, by Valentine's Day, he will want you so bad that you will have the best Valentine's Day ever. So hell yeah, girl. Leisha's my first person signed up. These guys aren't going to be so happy about that. Well, you know, it's funny because... Where this came up was, you know, I've done a lot of sacred sex work with men. I've worked with a lot of divine masculine. So I love the divine masculine. I love the men out here. They really do want to know. They really do speak a different language. Um, you know, I can't talk to them the same way that I talk to women. And I'm so thankful that I was a barber to teach me how to talk to men first and then to be able to incorporate that sex space. And so men, when it comes to men and sex, men and sex, it, the, it's the money factor. So for women and sex, it's the intimacy factor. For men and sex, it's the money factor. So I, I love you. But you know, a lot of men will be angry and you know, you'd be surprised. A lot of women too get angry. Like with the guys that I've worked with, like, why don't you want to have sex with me? Oh, you want to keep it sacred. And can you imagine a man trying to sit there and be like, well, listen, babe, I'm trying to keep it sacred. You don't know I'm doing this for the better for me and you, but you don't understand what the fuck I'm saying. And I sound like a whole fucking creepy weirdo, right? So shout out to the men who have done work with me because my work is not for this this simple minded. My work is for people that are ready to go deep inside themselves. And, you know, it's crazy because I know there's no levels to the people that find me. Like the people that find me, they're ready. They've been asking for someone like me to come up into their lives and help them with this one thing. This is my area. <laughs> the guy <laughs> crapola alicia girl i have a website order for me yeah i know you have a website i know i i'm really uh you know the things that i put in my body uh, oh, i'm so sacred about it anna so i get scared sometimes I'll check it out. I'll check it out. I'm, I'm so, I get so scared about certain things. Yes, yes. Even Herman said you needed to do it. I love Herman. Shout out to Herman. I love Herman. Paymatic. I have you on and he can hear he's already getting pissy. <laughs> I love you, man. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I will not be everyone's best, best friend for the sacred sex challenge. So if you want in the sacred sex challenge, hurry up, message me right now. Nobody has to know about it, right? It could be our secret thing. That's what I do. Message me right now. Tell me you want to be in the sacred sex challenge. We're going to get your money up. We're going to get you feeling like you're into your power. Like you run your life. You know, a lot of people are out here feeling real powerless, over their selves and their lives. And, you know, guys, we're the creators of our experiences, whether we own that or not. And I just want to give a little jolt. I just want to, you know, give everybody a little bit of hope out here that they are the creators of their experience. And I know for sure that if you give yourself 30 days to clear out your sexual energy, clear out your energetic body, Start to attract new things. You know, the 528 works at a cellular level. So it helps you to release things from a cellular level. As you're releasing things at a cellular level, it's filling you back up on a cellular level. It's free. It's free. It's free. It's free. You know, this is free. This is free. So if you come here, if you are here right now in 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 things aren't moving in your life, you know, some people have no sex and some people have too much sex. And, and, and what this sacred sex challenge is going to do is it's going to help you find a balance. I'm not saying don't have sex for the rest of your life. I'm not saying anything about promoting any kind of sex club, nothing, nothing. I'm trying to help people find balance inside of themselves, in their sex life, in their money life, in the power, in the self-worth space. I love your fucking guts. This is why I do this shit. This was meant for me. Yes, 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 yes. I know there's going to be a lot of people on here feeling it and I'm not sure how much I can give out that's why I don't really want to put a number at first I was like thinking like 11 I'm like I don't know what if a lot of people want to do this I really want to give it out I really want to 
<laughs> it's free. I would have paid. Yeah, I know. I know. I know a lot of people would have paid, you know, and I swear, you know, I'm on the I'm on the edge of something really great. Some really great things happening in my life. And I know what happens energetically when you know energy, when you give out energy, the things that come back to you are things that are bigger than your heart could have ever even wished for. They're, they're better than anything that you could sit down and plan and goal and map and try for, you know. And so, you know, giving this out, my only expectation is to send out a ripple of love. So, you know, if I get 11 people, if I get 22 people that want to take this time, take this 30 days and work on their internal frequency, the whole entire, I feel like the world is just going to explode with love. And, and that's why I do what I do. So, you know, my work brings body balance into the energetic body. I, when I, when I go in and I clear out that nervous system, you start to find balance. And so when you're finding balance, then your body is at ease. I'm in, right? Balance. Yes, I didn't even know that, right? I'm in, yes, this shit is priceless, yes, right? So what's going on out here is a lot of people are at, at a place of dis-ease in their lives. So they're at dis-ease at their work, they're at dis-ease in their bodies, they're at dis-ease with different relationships, they're at dis-ease with their thought process. A lot of people are going through that, and that's okay, right? And I help to find teach you how to find energetic balance in yourself and it's really hard to explain but it really works and it's really great um you know the vibes help me to really fall in love with myself the vibes help me to release and get filled with love and and, and create these things for myself the vibes help me to understand how i was attracting the things that i was attracting in my life even as i expanded the vibes still help me i still listen to them every day it's coming up so much for me. It's everywhere. It is. It is. It is everywhere. Um, <clears throat> the, hot, the, the vibrations are going to help you find you. You know, the work I do is just quick and simple. And whatever you say, it just clears out the nervous system. And I just know that you're about to restructure and recreate, right? But then the vibrations are what help you at a cellular level. Love is the most important. We need to change the world's respective because when we believe in love and here sex chakra points the world will understand the frequency of love and love conquers all of that namaste my friend right so love is really only love is real peter i love you peter um we've been on this journey a long time right yeah and so i don't think that people realize how much love unconditional love the love vibration god god you know has to do with sex you know it was funny i was having a conversation with one of my really great friends and we were laughing about how we used to feel like we could keep our sex lives away from the divine right so how in the fuck ever do you keep your sex life away from the divine, the fabric of life. You can't. And so underlying what you're saying and what you look like or, or whatever, right? Whatever's going on in your sexual energy, it's like running your life. It's running the way that you, you, you observe your life. And so today we're on the third eye, the observer, right? And so your sexual energy is running the way you observe your life, the way you get the messages from your ancestors, the way you are in your present moment, the way you're thinking to create your grandkids' future. That's all run by your sex space. Your sex space is, is the I can. I am a powerful being. Your sex space is like the womb of what connects you to the fabric of life, to God, to the fabric that's what connects you. And most people are walking around here like, yeah, I'm going in my sex life. 
<laughs> and you're like, mm, no, you know, the, your sex life is like your love juice, right? Your sex life is, is, is everything. And it's like, guys, I've had a lot of sex. I've had no sex at all. I've done my research on this through myself and other people. Amazing. I love you, Amanda. Message me. Sign up. It's going to be so great. We're doing video calls. We, you have to be able to video call, stop having sex for 30 days, and dedicate 30 days to yourself. It's like an abundance challenge. The sex challenge is like an abundance challenge. The sex challenge is like a... Uh, manifesting challenge like this is like you saying all right i'm ready to take this time and invest in myself and like alicia was saying maybe by valentine's day you can get you some sacred sex <laughs> i'm all about that sacred sex <laughs> i told a platonic friend i loved him tonight i couldn't help it and didn't want to is it weird i just love to love people i you know i no, i don't think that's weird at all like i love to love people too i love to love i i love to actually like really feel the love inside of me for other people and and once you realize and you love yourself and you work on your sex life like I love you and sex aren't the same thing you know you really can love people and have one person that you have sacred sex with you know to, to me sex is about creating you know, sex is about setting intention. You know, sex to me, you know, is so much deeper now than when my journey first started for sure, right? I can talk about it, uh, but my sex life is a very sacred sex life and it's an honoring process and it's honoring, you know, it's a process where I on I give thanks to the universe. That's when I send my thoughts up to the world. I, you know, it's not no regular shit. I'm here to tell you. <laughs> Maybe I'll come out with a program. I've been working on a, a new program lately, um, you know, about chakra medicine. And so I'm really excited to roll that out to you guys. Um, you know, being a vibrational alignment coach, I've been coaching now for like the past six months and it's been delicious to see people create things in their lives, to see them be pumped up about the healing, to cheer them on in the doo-doo. You know, that's that's my job. That's what Spirit sent me here to do. And, you know, I just love every single fucking one of you. It's the craziest thing in the world, but you're just diving in for yourself. Um Laws of attraction. I'm a big laws of attraction girl. And the laws of attraction work if you are in alignment. You have to be in alignment. And so if, you know, how do you know if you're using the laws of attraction, but you're not in alignment, you're going to be creating things that are like almost like what you want, but not really like, whoa, this is exactly what I wanted and better than I ever expected. Right? So you need to be in alignment. It, you know, it's like we need to be cleared out kind of to be that you know pure vessel in the fabric of it all if it makes sense i want to create so much my own website my own shirts and sprays and all sort of things yeah girl just you know you know what i say map it out map it out i'm curious but i'm like how the fuck is this gonna even happen i've created so much lovely things in my life because of keeping my sex sacred yeah yeah, me too, girl. Me too. Me too. And, you know, and, and keeping your sex sacred doesn't mean that you don't have sex. It's just when you do have sex that you're vowing to yourself to make that a sacred experience. And maybe at first, you know, it's just like your first time going to the gym. You don't really know how to do it all right. But like as you build on that, you're going to keep making that sex a sacred space. You're going to keep you know, going back in and making it, you know, just like your rituals or whatever ceremonies or however you celebrate you, every time you do it, you do it better. You add something else. You take something out. You make it how you want it. You know, it's all about you, girl. I love this new energy. Yeah, girl, me too. Me too, man. There's some stuff coming up. I mean, when you work in, you never know when it's going to come up. You never know how it's going to work. You know, you think you're going to do this all weekend and you end up doing that. But then you end up coming up with this. And it's like, I would have never planned that. That's why I say we got to let go of the how. Bring it on. I got plans. Yes, there's been a shift and I'm here for it. Yep, yep, yep. You chose to do this. 
I want everyone to tell me, okay, because we're gonna we're about to go into the third eye. We're about to talk about the third eye, right? And so I want you guys to tell me what you think of the third eye. What does the third eye do for you? What have you learned about the third eye? What do you feel like about the third eye? I want you guys to drop some comments. We're going to get to talking about this shit, man. I'm ready to talk. I'm ready to talk to you guys. I am ready to come out here and be the best version of myself. I'm ready to give. You know, I, I've been sitting and I've been sitting and I've been healing and I've been working and, and sharing a little bit and I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm so ready. So tell me, share with me. The things you think of when you hear third eye, any experiences that you want to share about your third eye, any questions. The third eye frequency is 936. Solfego tone. Listen to it. It's a pure tone. Now, the one I have on right now is 852. And so that's why I say you don't have to worry about the exactly. It's like a range in them, right? But this is solfego frequency. And so that's why I love it. But I want you to tell me what you think about the third eye. I see the third eye as an observer, as an observer of all of the other chakras in the energetic body. And so I talked a lot about the third eye being in a relationship with the sacral chakra. So the sacral chakra is the I feel. That's our reproductive system. That's, you know, between the third eye, the the sacral and the solar plexus, that's like our womb space. That's like where we came from, right? So it's like where we came from. It's like our ancestral lineage. It's like the ancestral fears. It's like that's where the deep, heavy, heavy, heavy programming is. Um, your third eye is associated with mind and vision. Mind and vision. Um, it's about sensory sight and inner psychic sight. So, you know, there are more than one meaning to every energy place in your body. You know, everything means everything. And that's why I love to really get to talk to you guys. Um, and your third eye is where you transform individual consciousness to transcend duality. So, like, you... It's like how you perceive the world as separate. When you start to get better in here, you don't perceive the world as separate anymore. You know that when I say I love you because we're all connected, I mean it. Like through the fabric of life, that's how we're all connected. You know, like one person one time asked me to explain God and I, you know, just did it like a, it's like a spider web of like how we're all connected and how the lessons come in and how the things fold out. Yes, yes. I dreamed I was hugging a tree last night for grounding. Yeah, you can even just imagine that. Yes. My connection to the vine has grown so much through healing. Like, wow, yes. I'm putting this out there. I'm with my partner for 15 years within the belief system of love and sex. <clears throat> I have. I haven't had intercourse in the last 12 years, and I feel happy. I feel wonderful because love conquers all. It's platonic love. What changes and what changes the world. And I'm say, and I'm proud of who I am. I'm super proud of you. And, and you know, I'm so proud of, of where you have gotten with it. Um, yeah, there's no right or wrong way out here. It is all about how you feel inside of you. You know, um, I'm a creator. I love to create. So, you know, I needed to learn how to kind of harness my sexual energy. I needed to know what to do with it. Like I had it. I, I, I seeped out of my veins, you know, things were coming to me and I felt like it, you know, I was experiencing a lot of disrespect in my sex space and things like that. And, and come to find out all that was just in me. And so, you know, by being able to figure that out and by being able to harness that, I am able to amplify the things I create with my sexual energy. And so that, you know, however anyone wants to do it, I love you. I love you too, girl. Two nights in a row dreaming about hugging too. Friends and enemies, bells, love to all. We are loving, bringing in peace, making peace, creating peace, making love. It's so awesome. I really feel I am creating my dream life. You are, girl. You are, girl. If you're rolling with me, you're creating your life. I'm creating my life every day. I'm in my lab every day creating my life. Yes. Drunken love. Yes. Uh, Playing summer trips with my boys. I'm ready. Yes. Oh, we love you, sweetie. I love you too. Virgin of the third eye is once we open the pathway. 
within your third eye we see the world for what it really is winning corruption and the glitch of the universe this is what i see and i've seen it for the last 20 years yep i don't even try to get into the wordy words of it i just want people to understand that all the power that they ever wish they had is all inside of them anything they want to change anything it's all in you i've seen so many different visions Dreams like prophecies, weather, people dying, meetups. I've seen different souls before. Some sweet and some scary. I haven't in a long time. The third eye is the soul's eye. It sees beyond the veil. Third eye activates when I'm in tune with my true self. Yes. Awareness of self and being open to the divine. Trusting and surrendering. Knowing that all that happens is divine timing. Yes observer yes the one being observed yes graham you know my energy work works the third eye is also the pineal gland which also has organs just like our eyes the way it communicates with our brain is amazing it is. Um, it's tied up with the pituitary too. And it's attached to a lot of the organs in your body. And so, you know, that's what I mean. I'm knowledgeable in the energy body and how the energy body affects the physical body. This is what I talk about all the time. So a buildup in your energy body, a deficiency in your energy body is going to affect your physical body. And so all the time people are coming to me like, I want to feel good. 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 And the ways that I tell them, the way I do my chakra medicine is not your typical way to heal, but it works. I'm blessed. I'm so thankful to know what I know and to, to be through what I've been through, to be here now. Amen. Yes. Minds, I, yes. I can listen to this all day. I love you, girl. This is my language. I never would have talked like this 10 years ago. My soul has craved this for so long. It's happening. Yes. Me too, girls. Um, so, you know, okay, I'm going to tell you guys a quote. I want you to, I want you to tell me if you know who said this. It is a terrible thing to see and have no vision. Ooh, that's a deep girl. Guys, whoever's on here, Helen Keller. Helen Keller is the one who said that, right? Imagine. Imagine that. Helen Keller. Um, so, yeah, like we were saying, your third eye is connected to your pituitary gland. That runs your endocrine organs. Um... You know, it's just a little small, small piece in, in the inside of you, but it's involved in the production of a lot of growth hormones, of a lot of different things in your body, right? Oh, yes, so dumb, so fun. Oh, my grandma just mentioned her the other day. So weird. Vibing. That is how, that's the thread. That's the fiber. That's the fabric. That's how you know that you're tuned in where you're supposed to be, even though it don't make no sense at all. April, my sister from another sister. You're going to love this. I love you. Okay, so um, the, the, the energy in, in the third eye space, you know, it has everything to do with like your muscles, your kidneys, other endocrine glands, you know, your, your pituitary gland in your body is like your master gland. So isn't that super dope that like the third eye in the energetic body is like the observer, like the master part and the actual physical gland of your body is called the master gland. The one that has the most impact on your whole entire body. Do you see how important the third eye is? You know, it's not just this woo woo new age shit. Like it's real, real shit, real shit, real shit that affects your whole entire body. Um, you know, it affects your adrenals, your thyroid, your self image, your manifesting, right? The things that you're doing, the, the way you feel about yourself. Um, 
Guys, enlightenment, wokeness, that's a process. Wokeness, enlightenment, expansion, it's a process. It's a journey. Byron High, you know it. You know, and it's a journey of how we see spirit in us and everyone else. And it's a journey of how we embrace spirit's view of us, right? And so in this space... That's where a lot of that is. That's where that that kind of stuff is. Um, so diseases of of the energy being off. So you know, once your energetic body is off for so long, and and people, um, you know, we have babies and we keep on passing down. Our babies grow at the state that our body is vibrating. So to all my ladies out here having babies. You grow your babies to your vibration. So every organ, every bone, every muscle grows to the vibration of you. And that's why your spine and your nervous system and all these things I talk about are so important. That's why I love working with the littles. Keep up the good work, my friend. I have to go to sleep now because I'm early in the morning. Shoot our love video. It will be released very soon. It's an honor to know you. I'm blessed to know you too. Eye problems will come out of this place. Deafness will come out of this place. Nightmares will come out of this place. Dyslexia will come out of this place. Brain tumors will come out of this place. Strokes will come out of this place. Seizures will come out of this place. Pain in the body will come out of this place. Inflammation in the body will come out of this place. Depression will come out of this place. Hormone imbalance will come out of this place. Um, insomnia will come out of this place, blood pressure problems, learning disabilities, migraines, all kind of big time things in your physical body come from this place, come from either excess or a deficiency in this place. Every chakra affects the other chakra. You know, it's best to be lined up from the root up, but you can start simple ways plugging into you, right? Um... We are all the manifestation of one spirit. We are not separate. None of us. So, I mean, there might be people out here that are like, oh, no, I'm separate. Um, you're not, but I, okay. I had so many of those issues are getting better, but wow. Yeah, a lot of people do. And a lot of people don't realize that they have them until they start to ease up. I never thought of it being third eye related. Hi, mom. Yeah, definitely third eye related. Um... You know, so if you have irritation towards someone or something um, or the inability to perceive what is really happening or refusal to change old patterns, you know, even though you see that that old pattern doesn't even work, um, you can't see forward. You can't dream forward and, and, and enjoy and happiness and bliss and peace and know that you're the creator of that. And that's what you're going to have. Like, that's what you're going to have in your life. And so when your third eye is off, those are some subtle, like energy things that will be going on in your life to make you feel off. Um, you know, you have to train yourself to see things through the eyes of the divine. You know, I ended up making up a prayer for myself. I think it was like, I don't know, maybe a year and a half ago. And, and that was in the prayer for myself every day to be able to see through eyes of love. And that was a really big thing for me. And, and you know, I had been asking the universe to teach me how to love for like seven years before I asked for that more specific. So you go from general to specific to general, however you got to move it in your creation. When you're the creator of your experience, you have to shift and move because things come up and you have to, you know, make room for this and you have to be flexible over here, but you have to set this boundary down here, but you have to stay forward in here, but you have to build a routine, but you're trying not to be so in tight on your routine, right? It's weird. Um, so if you don't learn to see through the eyes of the divine, you are going to keep seeing this programmed inadequacy, how you're not good enough. That's what a lot of people do. I feel there's a reset button. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Alicia's mom. Guys, you're worthy just being. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything fancy. You don't have to create anything fancy. You know, if anything, I recommend people just go in and want to create joy, happiness, and peace inside of you. You know, want to get to know your soul and, and what your soul really wants to do. Because that's what's really going to 
bring that feeling of holism to you. That's what's really going to tie it together and make you feel whole. You know, in here is where you can tie it together and make yourself feel whole. You know, you're really strong in your third eye if you can be a long range strategy, strategist. Like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to get here. But then you have to be bendy to the way that things are going to work, right? Because if, if something comes up and you are using your intuition in your intuition and it's a little bit different than what you thought, you have to go in your intuition and trust, should I do this or shouldn't I do this? Um, you're a big picture thinker. So you can see that all these little things right now are going to add up to this big thing. You're strong here if you can see that, if you, even if you don't know how to explain it. Um, if you're future oriented, like, okay, now is my now and I'm going to be in my now moment, but I'm really planning for my future. I really want to have a good future. If you process info into like a visual thing that you can see in your life, you're strong here. Um, if you transform thoughts or senses, feelings into pictures, you're strong here. Um, you know, a lot of us have these spiritual abilities and we don't really understand them, right? And that's a really common thing to everybody. And if everybody tells you that they just like walked up one day and meditated and they understood their spiritual purpose, they're lying to you. Um, it's a process. It's a giant, giant process. But, you know, if you're strong here and it doesn't matter what level you are and what you've done and what you haven't done in your life, you know, this is spirit calling on your ability to see into and help create desirable future for yourself and others through this space. You know, if you're strong here, just naturally, you are supposed to be using that gift. You're supposed to be learning how to use that gift. You're supposed to be digging into that gift. That's a message for somebody for sure. Because if you're strong here, just automatically, that's a blessing. And it does happen. And I've seen it happen a lot of times. But you're being called right now to see into situations and, and reality things and to help those things to be desirable, to help these people create a desirable future from the things that you can see for them up here because it's special. It's a gift what you have if you're strong there. Photographic memory, I love it. I still don't know, not all of it anyways, in our dreams changes as we do. Mine have for sure. Yeah, you know, your dreams are definitely going to change and keep changing. Um, you know, guys, your chakras can be too open or too closed or too open and closed in the same exact thing, right? And so when you have deficiencies in your third eye, you can't see obvious things. Like you just can't see them. They're not obvious to you. You deny problems and challenges in your life and you just shrug it off to the like, all right, I'm all right. Um, you're easy to deceive, you know, you're making it easy for people to deceive you if you don't strengthen up, if you have a deficiency here. Chaos is around you if you have a deficiency here. Codependency is an energy that's in your life if you have a deficiency here. I'm not judging anybody. I'm just saying these are the things that you will feel in you, in your cells. Um, having abusive relationships, attracting abusive relationships into your life is a deficiency here. If you're having difficulty planning your future, what do you want to be? What do you want to have? You know, if you're if you can't think of those things for yourself, you're a little deficient. Um, you know, if you have a lack of joy in your life, you're a little deficient. Anxiety, perception issues, you're a little deficient. If you have excess energy here, you are going to be a big time fantasizer. Um, you're going to hallucinate about things. You're going to not be able to really concentrate on particular things and dig them away and get them done. Um, you're going to be obsessive about things that don't really matter. And guys, it's easy to be balanced and fall off and fall back quick. You know, it's not like you reach this state of balance and you stay there. You know, you're always, you're always moving around. And that's why finding that stabilization inside of you is so important. That's why I'm a vibrational alignment coach. That's why I'm so thankful to be able to find my voice and come here and bring it out like this. Because it is different what I do. My chakra medicine is very different. It's fun. I love it. 
It took me a long time to embrace it. You guys are going to learn these things and they're going to come a lot faster. And so that's what I'm here for, to help you set up for these gifts that are coming in, for these feelings that you're feeling and don't understand. You don't know the words for them. You see it. It's your language. Yep. <laughs> you're preaching the truth. I love you, sis. Um, so, you know, when you're balanced in this place, you're going to have a good intellect. It's keen. It's going to be sharp, right? Strong intuition. You're going to use your imagination for positive impact, for positive influence, for the greatest good for all. That's what you're going to use it for. And you're going to know, you know, a lot of people, when they get in there and they realize that they have a lot of power, they get afraid. And so they push it off. Right. But you're going to be strong when you're balanced in there. You're going to see the big picture. Um, you're going to perceive and influence the spiritual planes by your mind's eye. Um, readily establish goals, take action. You know, it's big. It's big. It's big, 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 big stuff. So, Guys, I talked about the laws of attraction. I talked about the internal alignment. The universe is constantly responding to vibes that you are offering up in the world. The vibes you're offering up, that's what you're getting back. It's ever changing. It's ever moving. It's an ebb and flow. It's constantly switching. It's constantly expanding and contrasting and resisting and going, right? There's no difference between the vibes you offer... As you observe things. Or the vibes you offer as you imagine things. So this is how we create our experiences, right? Um, it's like, I dare you to dream. I dare you to get into your third eye. To learn about your third eye. To let that take you back into your ancestral lineage. To work on some things there. To realize... How perfectly made you really were. How everything in the universe had to be exactly where it was to have you here right now. On this video, right now, right here. No matter when you find this, right? Everything had to meet up perfect. There's no way as humans that we can plan that. We just can't. Um... <clears throat> The natural laws out here are real, guys. <laughs> Do you guys know about them? Does anyone want to name me some natural laws that they know? I love to know what you guys know. I really do. It pumps me up to like the fullest. I love to get human interaction and people talking, right? bigger than what we see out here guys consequences the law of one tell me more spirit finds us and delivers to us our wishes in stillness the law of attraction. Yep, that was my first one. This is your world, guys. This is your world. Do you know your worth in your world? Do you know how valuable you are in your world? Do you know how many people are waiting for you to understand how great you are, to learn from you? To grow with you, to be excited by you, however you do it. Do you know how many people for real? Do you know that everything is just lined up waiting for you to get in alignment with it? I'm getting amped up. Some hurt is surfacing, but it's making me love me more. I'm over being taken, granted for, taken advantage of. Fuck that energy. It's all good, sis. Our wounding is our greatest gift. It really is. It leads us to our purpose. I want to cry. That's so good. 
If you guys know me, I lost a baby in July. And I did a lot of healing. And I went in and I went in and I came out and I went in and I came out and I went in and I came out. And I thought I was healed. And Christmas time was when I was due. I was I was due the week of Christmas the twenty second. That was my due date of December. And I thought I was healed. And that week came up and my heart got tight. And I was doing my meditating and I was thinking about my baby boy and why the world works the way it does, right? Our wounding is our greatest gift. And, you know, I have my new map to love out. I'm a vibrational frequency coach. I, I set goals for myself. And I knew I wanted to work in the womb space and I knew I wanted to work with women and um women having babies, but then I knew that I wanted to work with men and their creation and everything like that, right? And I was praying and 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 praying. And one day I left and I'll share the picture with you guys on here. I'm driving in the car, no shit. The car in front of me says on a license plate, um, sunrise, but it's S O N R I S E. And Right in that very moment, I knew that I had to work with, I, I, it was like, I, you know, my son was explaining to me my purpose here on the earth and, and how to be stronger, to be able to deliver that to you guys in a correct way where you're not confused about the things that I do and the gift that I have to offer you all. And I love it. Super impactful you are too. Guys, your pain is your purpose. I'm telling you, man, like. You know, a lot of people don't really know about miscarriage. Some people do, but it hurts. It hurts your feelings. And then add in all the extra factors. And, you know, I don't even have to go there because the pain alone is just enough, right? And then, you know, a lot of other things came in that same, you know, weak area to really make me look into myself deeper and make me look at my decisions deeper and my choices and the choice of where I chose to have my vibration and keep my vibration. And then I realized that I haven't really been the same since I lost my baby and parts I'm better and in parts I'm, I was kind of like avoiding and it's okay. That's when my life changed. You're so inspiring. Your pain is your purpose. Wow. You're so amazing. It is, it is. And, and, and how you find the purpose and the pain is you meditate on it. You sit on it. You feel it all. You sit there with the divine in the most sacred, safe space that you could ever be in the world. And you meditate on that pain. You feel it. You ask it. What is it bringing up for you? What, how can you use this pain for the greatest good for all? Be still. Go in. Go in. When you feel that pain, that pain you don't even know how to give anybody words about it. Go in. Turn on the 528. Ask why. Ask. Healing taking place here for so many. I love you. It's okay. You're most welcome, Caitlin. A lot of people haven't faced it all. That's why Spirit's making me pump this to you guys. I'm so scared in this. I love you. Turn on the 528. Alchemy's right, sis. I knew this message was going to be great. I just didn't know it was going to be this great. I love you for being here in this epic time of this. You have no idea how much my heart is grateful for all the love that I have on here in my life. The connection, the human connections that I've made. I love you. Um, guys, I teach people to retrain their brains and I make it fun. You know, always think up to me is how I retrain my brain. Always think up to me is me dropping gems down in the city of love on how I retrain my brain. Whether you take them or not, that's up to you. Um, because retraining my brain is what I've done for me. That's what got me here. You know, my pain 
keeps turning to my pleasure. You know, my me losing my baby wasn't my first pain. I've been taking this pain and turning it into my passion and taking this pain and turning it into my passion and my house burned down and I got more passionate and I got a DUI and I got more passionate and I had fucked up relationships and I got more passionate. I got my heart hurt before and I got more passionate. Every single pain that I've had has brought me here. I love you too. I love you all because we are all connected we are if you're here we're definitely all connected um you know thoughts create vibrations in the planet right that we cannot see mental strength takes training you must train your brain to think differently than it does right now i'm telling you you can do it by yourself or you can do it with someone else. You can get there by yourself, but it takes a lot of work. Um, thoughts create chemical reactions in the body. Like there is a literal chemical reaction that happens in your body from a single thought. Are you thinking chaos or are you thinking bliss? I love you, Amanda. What are you thinking? And is the thought worth it? That's what I want to ask you guys to just think about it. What you're thinking about. What is that making your body feel like? And is that thought worth your time? Is it worth it? If you're this divine being and your value isn't your feeling of being, is a bad thought worth your time? How do you switch that bad thought? Think about something that you love. How do you stay in that? Keep adding to that and snowballing that. Make the snowball of things you love bigger and bigger and bigger and give thanks and give thanks and give love and give love and keep doing that. We are protected. So when you're fearful, lean in. You know, tonight I was being really encouraged to tell you guys to meditate. Meditate. Go in, get quiet, turn your vibration on, ask spirit to show you something, guide you somewhere, ask spirit to bring you a sign. I'm telling you, it's real. If you don't want to sign up for the Sacred Six Challenge, if you don't want to act like you watch my videos, just go in and ask spirit why anything. Something keeps making noise in here. The cat's outside and no other sounds are on. I don't know. That spirit here will be on, girl. I love you. I'm committed to a partnership with spirit. I did that about eight years ago. I committed myself to a partnership with spirit. I didn't know what that looked like or what that was going to be. Sometimes I fell off and sometimes I stayed on. But I committed to that. I wanted to co-create with spirit my life. I know, I need to meditate about the pool all day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, turn on this frequency, 852 hertz. It's super dope. I've been meditating on it since I've been home. Um, little by little, as you meditate on your third eye, you're going to see source in all things. You're going to see this fabric of connection that I speak of. Um our souls want so bad to express through our human, guys. It, our soul is in there like, please, human, let me express. We're like pinching it off. <laughs> I love you. We don't mean to. I love you. Prayer and meditation. Prayer and meditation. I've evolved, I've changed, I've come back. Guys, ask, ask, ask. What is the highest good for all and how can I serve? What is the highest good for all and how can I serve? Ask that. You don't have to put a name to it. You don't have to put a stamp on it. You don't have to pay eight dollars for postage you don't have to do any of that ask what is the highest good for all and how can i serve just ask we're always protected and directed divinely 
but we just got to get in tune with ourselves. My partnership with spirit became my number one thing. I lost a lot of folks, you know, creating that divine partnership with spirit. But I made a lot of spiritual bonds, you know, and spiritual bonds don't look like the holiest things out here. You know, in, in my spiritual bonds, sometimes I was in a strip club or in my spiritual bonds, sometimes I was in the hood or in my spiritual bonds, sometimes I was working for people who chose to not have a home or maybe didn't choose to not have a home. Um, my spiritual uh, partnerships, they uh, they didn't they didn't look so spiritual. And so I want to let you guys know that that, you know, a lot of people think God's supposed to come down this certain way or be this certain way. The fabric hits everything. There's nothing more spiritual than the next thing. God knows all about your sex life. <laughs> um, but we need to tend to our spiritual bonds, our, our place that makes us feel connected to spirit, our relationships that feel like they're in our lives because of the spirit that we're connected to, because of the fabric that we're connected to. Um, and in your spiritual bonds and in your relationships with others, you need to remain aware of your true nature. And so it's easy to mimic vibrations of others. And so meditation and prayer helps you to, you know, stay inside of yourself. Be aware of your true nature at all times. Let spirit lead you. And that's hard for humans to do. And the vibrations will help you. You're something special to me. I love you. Remain aware. Um, you know, when you co-create with spirit, when spirit is your partner, your lover, your best friend, your motivator, your cheering section, um, you always succeed. You know, it could look like the whole entire world is against you, but this, this thing that you have in your heart, this connection that you have is going to make sure that you're successful. Um, you know, as you are doing this relationship with, with spirit, with part, then you're going to see synchronicities. You're going to see numbers. You're going to have conversations like this, like how, um, I was just talking to Alicia about what she was saying and how it's matching up to this prayers asking. Yes. And meditation, you know, can be asking and listening, um, this partnership is going to give you confidence. So, you know, a lot of people, yeah, yeah, yeah. Meditation is listening, but you can ask in your meditations too, guys. There's no right way. And, and a lot of people, I teach a meditation class and a lot of people that think that they've never meditated or don't know anything about it have actually been meditating for a very long time and did not even know it was meditation. And so once I start pulling things out of them, they're like, oh, okay, I am a little bit more connected than I thought I was because I don't want anyone to think that they're not connected. Like everyone is connected all the time. I just want to help you feel more connected. Um, <clears throat> Self-love is that good, good. So if you're having any kind of relationship problems, it's trying to show you to love yourself better. Um, sometimes we need to distance ourselves from what we're doing. And that's a really, that can be a complicating thing to do. You know, you're so deep in your creation. You're creating this creation, but something doesn't seem to turn out. You want to pull back a little bit from whatever you're creating because you're seeing it too close up. Um, you need to back up to see it from a different perspective. You need to back up to, to see a, a, a bigger, wholer version, the bigger picture of what it is. Um, you need to connect to the essence of your goals, the feeling of your goals, not the actual goal and aspiration, but the feeling of that goal. If you're not seeing anything, um, let the form of it and the timing of it be dictated by spirit. Like a lot of us are like, you know, when you're a manifester, you're like, you know, and even me, I, you know, I put like uh, months and years and stuff on the goals that I write out for my coaching clients. But I tell them, 
don't hold to it because this is all in spirit's time. I'm just trying to teach people how to get connected with their heart's desires because it's not the easiest thing, right? And then the things that'll come up will be exactly what they need. And I know that and I trust that. Um, so don't get too tied to timelines. It's spirit's timing. Like we have free will, but we're on like divine will. I truly believe that. Um, so don't get too attached to outcomes because then you can't see the miracle. You pinch yourself off to, for the miracle. If you are stuck to outcomes or pinching yourself off to see the true actual miracle of the way the divine works, we need to stay neutral. We need to stay in our hearts. And that is one thing, especially in this last year that I've really been learning extra, extra double is, you know, it goes up, it goes down. It's all good. Stay in your heart. Stay in love. Only love is real. Be curious about life. Be excited about life. Joy, happiness, and peace. You deserve those things. You should make boundaries. Stick up for yourself. Say what you need to find that joy, happiness, and peace. I promote that. Expect miracles out here. I fucking love you guys. If you want to know more about... I have a hell of messages about the sacred sex challenge, but... I want to challenge you guys to create your best life. And this is the fastest, easiest way that I know how to get you living your best life as fast as you can. I challenge you to keep your sex sacred. I challenge you to, you know, create a stronger partnership with the divine right now. Right now. This special isn't running next month or anything. It's right now. I'm going to give you guys a couple days a couple, you know, to see this, a lot of different groups see this and stuff like that. Um, but reach out to me quick because I'm not taking that many people and I'm starting now. I'm starting now. I want you guys to start now. I want you to lean in because what, if you're married, then I think that your partner should know that you want to co-create with the divine. If you're single, I think you should take some time to co-create co with the divine. That's what works. That's what I do. Hubby is trying to start an argument. I'm like, dude, I'm fine. I don't know what your problem is. I love you. Just send him love. Smother him in love. Please cover him with unconditional love. Fill him up every cell. Shield him with your protection. Let only love come in. Help him see the world through eyes of love. And live from his heart for the win. I don't try to control what anyone does. I just smother him in love. Keep it moving. And so it is, huh, sis? Cheers to your peace and bliss in there. It happens. I give you credit. All of you who have relationships, I give you credit. You know, I, I run my ship here and here. I mean, I got to share with my sassy little five-year-old. But other than that, that's all I got to do. Thank you for this talk tonight. I love you, girl. Share it with anybody you know. If you guys know anybody that would be interested, if you sign up for the sex challenge and you know somebody that maybe doesn't know me that would be interested, plug me in with them and tell them about me a little bit before. <laughs> I love you. Peace and love. I love you too, guys. Thank you for being interacting. Thank you for telling me what you think and feel and sharing with me what you know. I love you, girl. I love you. Um, I just want to see people feel good and feel powerful and feel sexy and feel, you know, everything great. Everything great. You're, you're, an, you're an amazing, amazing being. And if you feel anything less than that right now, then I just want you to feel great. So I challenge you in your sex life. I challenge you to keep your sex sacred. I challenge you to sustain and create. You know, if you are watching this video and you want to create your life. You want to have a better experience of creation. I want you to get into that sex space. You know, a lot of people our age are really lost in the sex space and we're bringing that down for many, 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 many generations. And I was come here. I, I, I'm supposed to be here to shake up everyone in their sex, to talk about it like it's butter, right? I love you, sister. I love you too. You know, and I can only talk about it like it's better because I've done a lot of work there. So if you feel uncomfortable about it, I know you can private message me. You don't have to say anything on the video. I just got a message. I don't want to say anything on the video. I know. 
I won't call you out. It's all good. I love you. I love you because I love me. I love you because I leaned in on the divine. I love you because I believe in divine timing. Sometimes I get, my human gets a little frustrated with divine timing sometimes. And then I have to meditate, pray. I love you. I love you so much because we're all connected. Guys, please just know if you ever need anything, I'm always here for you. I love you because we're all connected. One love. Good night.